Hi guys, this is Robert, sales engineer at Innovative IDM. What we're going to be doing today is wiring up an E3Z diffuse reflective sensor from Omron Automation. So the Omron E3Z is a diffuse reflection sensor. What that means is that there is no need for a separate receiver and there's no need for a reflecting device to send instant light back to the sensor. It will take the reflection of the emitted light and measure it using a position sensing device built into the emitter receiver combo module to determine presence or absence of an object. And Omron has a lot of different sensors. They have through beam sensors, they have retroreflective, and they have advanced sensing sensors. For example, the microscan camera, which I'm gonna cover next week. So looking at our DIN rail system, we have a power supply with the positive going to two terminals jumpered together to create a positive bus and the negative going to two terminals jumpered together to create a negative bus. On the far right, we have a slimline relay from Omron. So we want to wire up our pat light first. Looking at the pat light cable, we have a red wire which will go to the red light and a green wire which will go to the green light. The yellow wire is going to be our common for all the potential lights and functions that you can run with this pat light. One of the cool things about the pat light is that you can put these little blocks in whatever order you want and the red wire is turning on the red light and the green line, green wire is turning on the green light. Oh, and we're also gonna put our common to the negative bus. So that's the yellow wire. So now we're looking at our sensor cables. We've got the blue, which is gonna be our negative the brown, which is gonna be our positive, and we've got the black wire, which is gonna be in series with our load, AKA the coil in the relay. Sweet. So we're gonna find three points. We're gonna find the point right before the work area by turning our tuning knob until it no longer senses this object we're gonna find the maximum distance by tuning our sensor until it creates an output for this background. And we're gonna find a third point somewhere in the middle, which is where we're gonna leave it. So let's first make it turn off. So this is gonna be our minimum distance. Now let's find the point where it turns on without the object in the work area. So that's these, <laughs> that's it sensing the background right here. So we're gonna just tune it down a little bit right until that light turns red and this stability light is still on. You notice for a second, that light was red because this sensor wasn't giving an output, but this stability light wasn't green. What that means is that the sensor's kind of right on the edge and you might as well give it a little bit more to work with. So now check it out. Voila. Our second knob on the sensor just reverses this operation. So we have no output for an object in the work area. And when it's removed, now we have an output. Thanks for tuning in to this demo of the E3Z diffuse reflective sensor from Omron Automation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you'd like to get any more information about Omron sensing, give me a shout at robert.fillmore at iidm.com or 817-253-2761. All right, stay safe out there. Thanks. Bye.